Good afternoon. Thank you so much for all the support you've given us during these difficult times. The children have settled back into school really well and we're really pleased with the uptake that of our children taking the testing and now doing the home testing. All your children have been given enough kits to carry them over the Easter holidays. So please, if you are involved in home testing, please keep continuing doing the testing on every Monday and every Thursday. The exception being just before we come back to school. If at all possible, can you please do your test on the Tuesday evening so that we know that everybody returning on the Wednesday morning is COVID free. Obviously during the Easter holidays we are all changing restrictions so I'm really asking you please to obey the new restrictions that come in. We've been very lucky in the Blackburn with Darwin area that we have seen that reduction in infection rates and none of us want to go back to the high rates we saw before the Christmas holidays. So please do everything that you can to make sure that you and your children follow all the government guidance. As part of that, I really would appreciate it if you reiterated to your children the importance about keeping social distancing. I myself have witnessed and had to intervene with some of our children meeting their friends from other schools at the end of the school day and have felt that it's appropriate to give a handshake or a hug. It's not appropriate. We're still not in a society that's safe from COVID. And therefore, please, can you reiterate that there should be no contact between children at all uh, until we have all had the vaccine and the whole of the country is much safer. Some of the other children obviously are now getting concerns regarding grades if you're taking GCSEs or A-levels. I do need to reiterate that we're not allowed to give you those grades. We, all of the grading process, the moderation process, has to be kept confidential in school. We are under different uh, guidelines which are being set by Ofqual and they're going to be published at the end of this month and we'll be following those guidelines. We have received some emails from parents and some emails from children and students saying, you know, we would like this grade or we would really like to be able to produce work for grade X, etc. We're not able to respond to those uh, emails it's about the work that they're doing now and have done it over the past three years. It's not about what people want now. And I know that can be very difficult for people to uh, understand. And I understand the anxiety and the pressure that everybody feels under during this time. Unfortunately, emails that are sent to school that way, sent either to a teacher or sent straight to me, it can be classed of putting pressure on the school and can be classed as a form of cheating and may have to be reported to the examination board. So please, I'm urging you not to put pressure on your children to send emails of such a form or to send emails to the teachers. Instead, like in my previous messages, you do need to trust us. Look at that December report that all year 13 and all year 11 students and pupils had. That gives you a baseline of where your child was. If your child was fully engaging in remote learning, you can see that that grade will at least stay the same, if not increase. But if your child has not been engaging, that's when it may be at risk. What you need to do is each child is receiving feedback on their work and they must act on that feedback and encourage your children to act on that feedback. Because it's about increasing their marks and looking at improving their work over time we're not going to be able to tell them the grade of every piece of work. Again, I realise that causes anxiety. I understand it's difficult, but we do need to have to work together on this one. And please do trust the school um, to make sure that we are doing this in the fairest way possible. Now, finally, uh, at the Easter holidays, um, unfortunately, we are losing a member of staff um, to a, a promoted, uh, promoted position this term. term. I'd love to be able to have kept her for much longer because she's the person that's been able to make all this possible through social media and make our presence so much better uh, within the community. But unfortunately, she has gained a promoted post and I would like to take this opportunity to publicly thank her for everything that she's done for the school. She'll be completely missed, but we fully understand and we wish Miss Gemma Avery the best of luck in her new position. Please have a lovely and safe Easter holidays and we're looking forward to everybody coming back on the 14th of April. Thank you.